What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I sit here and do a product review. Recently, I've been planning a outdoor camping trip. And as a videographer, one thing that I absolutely need is power. There are so many stuff that I need to charge every day. My camera, my light, my computer. So I think it's time for me to choose a really good portable power station that I can take outdoor for a few days and use it to charge all my devices. As you can see, today I got three different power bank. They are from three different brands with good reviews and the price range are pretty different. First, let's look at them one by one. This one is from Goal Zero. It's $199. On the top is the input to charge the power station. Then it has the car port, two USB ports, and one AC outlet. On the top, there is a very small screen. It's only showing you how much battery it has left. It is pretty heavy with such a small size. The handle is movable. You can take it out, put it back in, and move it around. The second one is a very famous brand for power bank, Explore 240 from Jackery. It is also $199. On the top, there is a display screen, and it also has the input, two USB ports, one AC port, and a car port. Compared to the Go Zero one, this is a little bit bigger but much lighter. The third one from Echo Flow is much more expensive than the other two. It's $449. The screen also shows how much power it has left and also the input and output. It has three USB ports. One of them is a fast charger. It also came with a Type-C USB port. Similar with the other two, it came with a car port, but this one came with a cover. In the front, there is also a light that can be used as a flashlight or a signal light. And on the side, there are three AC ports. The other side is the input. You can charge it with a wall charger or solar light. Okay, now let's do the first test. I'll drain my phone's battery every time and see how long it takes for them to get my phone restart. Now my phone is completely out of power. We first try the Go Zero one. It took 52 seconds to turn my phone on. Now we move to the Jackery one. Exactly the same with the Go Zero, 52 seconds. And we try the Echo Flow first with the normal USB. Fifty seconds, a little bit better than the other two. Let's see how the fast charger outlet performs. Yeah. 10 seconds faster than all the other. Only took 40 seconds to turn my phone completely on. Now, here is our second test. I am going to use this and connect it to all three of the power station. That is a pretty heavy duty thing and it needs a lot of power to get it to work. From my previous experience, I already know some of those power station won't be able to get it start. And we will see how these three performs. Let's see whether they can get it to work. First, we connect the heat gun to the wall charger and make sure it works. Now, let's first try the Go Zero one. Nothing. It doesn't even turn on. Second try. 
still nothing. Let's see the Jackery one. It turns on for a second and then goes off. Second try. It goes on for a little while and then the whole power bank just died. Now let's try the Echo Flow one. This is actually working pretty well. It's not as powerful as when it's connecting to the wall, but not bad. That's everything for today's videos. If you like this video, please give me a big thumb up. And if you want to see more content like that, please hit subscribe. If you have any recommendation for a good portable power station, please leave a comment below. I'll see you in the next